Hey folks, so far tonight, radar has stayed quiet. We had those showers over the lower valley earlier this evening, but now there's just nothing left over the region. And we can find it, though, pretty quickly. And I know if you want rain, you'd like to have some of this, but you don't want this. This is severe stuff. All this bright yellow, all severe thunderstorm warnings for areas that are picking up hail and damaging winds. And that whole area is moving off to the southeast. Likely will cross the coast here in a few hours and move out into the Gulf of Mexico. But the southern end of that has never developed down into Mexico, and we've not seen anything developing over in the mountains to our southwest. That is kind of what we were watching for, thinking maybe we see stuff over here moving in in this direction. That hasn't happened, at least not yet. If it hadn't happened by now, it probably won't. And the southern end of this, if it hasn't developed back into here by now, it probably won't, but again, probably is a big word. That's why we're still under the slight risk for severe thunderstorms overnight tonight. And if you're going north of the valley, you will run into storms unless you're going up to Laredo. But if you're going up to San Antonio or Corpus Christi or Houston, you're going to run into this. It's big stuff. And you can see it moving off to the southeast, kind of bowing out on the leading edge of this. There have been all kinds of severe thunderstorm warnings embedded within this line of thunderstorms tonight. And again, you watch that southern end, just not able to get going out here on the, uh, the plateau of Mexico. And then down here, we're just not seeing much at all. So it may stay quiet. Very possible we'll get through this without seeing any of the severe weather. But we're going to keep an eye on this throughout the night because there is potential there. This model, the three kilometer high resolution model, suggested that this stuff would stay to the north. And indeed, so far, at least that's what's happening. It's all up under the banner up around the coastal bend as of 2 a.m. according to this model. And then we just see enough moisture for spotty showers, even an isolated thunderstorm. Can't rule that out. But the severe stuff likely staying to the north likely we go through the daytime tomorrow scattered showers maybe an embedded thunder shower but it's not a rainy day per se this model now brings the stuff out of mexico tomorrow night says things will lift to the northeast but again when they get to the valley it's more just rain. This is tomorrow night at midnight, and the severe stuff again stays away. That's a sign that our cap or that inversion on top of the valley is holding strong, and stuff just can't get through it. And if that continues to be the case, then we see a few showers. That's it. We're still under this slight risk, which again is number two on the scale of one to five, and typically that means that scattered severe storms are possible. And again, the word possible in capital letters. They're not likely, but the atmosphere is ripe. And if that cap breaks anywhere, then something severe could occur. But right now, we're not seeing it. That goes all the way up to Austin and San Antonio, where they are seeing it. For tomorrow, the chance rains about 30%. I think most of the day is dry. Sunday, same thing. Sunday, that number could probably be a little lower. And then Monday, the chance of rain ramps back up to 40%, maybe even higher than that. A little bit of an upper air disturbance. This is the upper level pattern. You see this dip right here in the jet stream, and right there's a trough. And that's what's triggering all this stuff, combined with all the moisture that's here. Just everything coming together to keep things going tonight. And this flow is one that we get little dips like this every once in a while coming through. And they trigger more showers and thunderstorms. Might see a little more tomorrow, maybe a little bit on Sunday, but then we may get a break Sunday into Monday. And then here comes another one. See this right here? That moves through on Monday, giving us another chance of rain. And then look at this guy out west. That's a big one. That's going to move across the country, probably stay north of Texas, but be close enough by the end of next week to give us again a chance for showers and thunderstorms beginning on Friday. These are your current temperatures. If you look at tonight's lows, they're going to be in the 70s with maybe an isolated thunderstorm. And then tomorrow's highs climb back into the upper 80s and low 90s. Once again, of course, cooler if you get caught in an isolated thunderstorm. So tonight, scattered storms, nothing yet. We may make it through the night without anything. If anything happens, it'll be much later. Mostly cloudy otherwise. And during the daytime tomorrow, mostly cloudy with a spotty storm. Spotty is the key word. It's not widespread. Your first one five accurate with the forecast for the next seven days. We keep it near 90. By the middle of next week, we dry it out and go to 97. By Wednesday, by Friday, a spotty thunderstorm moves back to the forecast. We'll keep an eye on things and keep you up to date. That's your update. First one five accurate with the forecast. We'll be back right after the break.